Jack Walser and I have been an active and caring resident of Torrance for over 50 years. This was our introduction to Jack Walser shortly before he was appointed to fill a vacant at-large city council seat on July 13, 2021. It was kind of a very fast pace because the moment I was selected, I was escorted right over and sat down in the seat and started working you know, without any preparations before per se, but uh, it was good. I thrown in from the, the, the pot into the, the fire. He wasn't even my vote. I, I didn't even vote for him to, to, to get the appointment. Yet, when, when he did get the, the appointment, we, we got the opportunity to work together as, as fellow council members. I haven't seen very many council members put in the time and effort that he truly did and not for any political agenda or, or anything. It was purely his care for our city. I didn't know Jack well before I got on council. And um, we've become friends. We've uh, bounced ideas off of each other. And him coming on to city council without having any previous government experience has been amazing. He's done an amazing job. Walzer calls himself the most senior junior on the dais. I will be 77 in November. So uh, I don't feel like I'm that old, but uh, uh, I, th I think if you stay active, it, it works to your betterment. He just goes to show it doesn't matter what age you are. Uh, this is a job that if you care about our city and you care about what's going on and, and you have a reasonable amount of intelligence, you, you can do this job and, and really help out our city. And I think he did a fantastic job of that. The Redlands native moved to Torrance in 1970 to begin a career with mobile oil. He then went back to school, got an MBA from UCLA, and started his business called Walser's in Torrance in 1975. Primarily it's been in art supplies, but we've done a wide variety of different things. I grew up in this area, and I grew up going to uh, Jack's art supply store on Hawthorne many, many years ago. We would go there on a weekend, usually after church. We would attend the Torrance Salvation Army for church, and then we'd stop by Walzer's and pick up some art supplies, and then we'd head home. I get to nominate um, once a year a small business of the year uh, uh, from, uh, from my district. It might have been uh, four or five years ago. I always try to look for small businesses that, that go above and beyond, you know, to, to not just uh, run a successful business, uh, but also uh, uh, engage in a lot of charity activity and a lot of community service and that was uh, Jack and, and, uh, and the, the Walzer Art Store. So we were a uh, designated agent for the city of Torrance for a dozen years for electronic recycling. Uh, we, our business has evolved a lot from art supplies to uh, more digital things. At one time we had a very extensive imaging center, did a lot of printing, things like that. But times changed and we've moved on and uh, we've branched out into other areas, uh, more tactical, firearms, ammunition, things of that sort. Walser says Torrance reminded him of his childhood hometown and he wanted to branch out and get to know his community. Jack um, Walser has been a chamber member for many years. Um, involved in the chamber, he headed up our um, small business council for probably about 18 months finding different speakers to come in, organizing those meetings for us, um, very involved with our government affairs. He didn't take that responsibility lightly at all. And as a chamber member, he was an ambassador. Fortunately, I did well enough. I, they recognized me as ambassador of the year one time. And then uh, after a while of that, he uh, got on our, some of our commissions here in the city became a commissioner and I, I got the opportunity to meet him at uh, several of the commission events, including I think some water trips that we took, water inspection trips where we would go out of town for a couple of days or something like that, doing visual inspections of the different water facilities throughout the state. And I just I enjoy the camaraderie because there is this, it's a very friendly city. Joining the city council gave Walser even more ways to stay active and evolve as a leader. I realized how much I enjoyed it, you know, being in on things and also um, in some ways I was a voice of reason sometimes. Uh, there's always different sides to everything and I would try and weigh the pros and cons of each and express, you know, some based on experience. The thing with Jack is that Jack, if there is an issue, say for instance in governmental affairs, Jack would always research a subject before coming up with 
a support or an opposition or a neutral position. And I saw that that's how on city council he was. I do have the advantage over some that I've had business experience. And I think that's an important thing. It's extremely important for a business representative to be on the Diaz. It's difficult to operate a business. You have to not only deal with the business, but you have to deal with staffing. You have to deal with customer service. You have to deal with so many different things. And businesses play such a large part in our city makeup that it's extremely important that we have somebody there. I don't consider myself a politician by any means. Uh, I just, I like the opportunity to help the community. Even after stepping away from council chambers, Walser still has some unfinished projects he'd like to see through. One very minor one uh, in the whole scheme of things is we have control valves throughout the whole city. And all the control valves really are placed very poorly and generally not painted. And it's just kind of a little, it's a minor thing, it's a little bit of an eyesore, but uh, still working on things to help create a situation where they give more thought to where they put them and what they do as far as uh, the aesthetics of them. And uh, a lot of them are on city property, but there's a lot of them on um, private property. They're, and it's, it's just, a, that's a small element that I'd like to see corrected. He also helped organize an active shooter training at the Salvation Army of Torrance, where he dedicates a lot of time. I did this about four years ago. It's called Active Shooter. Uh, and they typically do have Active Shooter in the workplace, but this one is Active Shooter and Safety in Your House of Worship. And the intent is there is that they have to have the conversation. Uh, times have changed, and this will be presented by uh, people from the Torrance Police Department who are very skilled and knowledgeable about active shooter situations. And uh, hopefully people will gain more by it. Council Member Walzer has been very involved with the Salvation Army for many years. Jack is currently on our board. He still chairs our property committee. In fact, when we started our remodel project here at our Torrance facility, he was heavily involved with that property project and making sure that it, it was uh, the architects and the construction workers and everything was, uh, they were all working together. I think very highly of them as a group. Uh, they're very humble, they do a lot of good. Councilmember Walser says he fell in love with serving others while volunteering for 13 ski seasons at Big Bear. We are a full-time year-round adaptive recreation center located up in Big Bear Lake. Councilmember Walser was a volunteer during our winter um, program. When he was there, he was all smiles and, and you know ready to help and jump in wherever we needed him. I volunteered uh, as a ski instructor. I tended to specialize in what they call monoski and biski, so those were typically people that were either paraplegic or quadriplegic, and they would ride along in, in a, a sit-down type ski situation. He would be behind and take the children or adults with disabilities that are a little bit more involved down the hill um, so they can get that freedom and feel of skiing. It's very, it was very rewarding uh, and I think that's what maybe helped give me the taste for helping out because at the end of the day you made them happy. Their parents were happy if it was a child and it just fulfilled. It was very fulfilling. Community members express their gratitude to Councilmember Walser for all of the effort he's taken to keep Torrance strong. Jack, we love you. We think you're great. It's been a pleasure to get to know you. Very proud of all that you've done in this community and as a city councilman. And I think there's just more in the future and more great things that you're going to do. And the city of Torrance is going to benefit so much and the Salvation Army as well. It just has benefited so much from you and who you are. And I, I think there's more to come. Jack, thank you for all that you continue to do for our city. You've been a part of Torrance for many years. Um, your involvement, not only with the Torrance Chamber, the city, the Salvation Army, and other organizations that you have served on are vitally important. Thank you for always being there, for always answering yes to wanting to help and to volunteer and uh, we look forward to what you're going to say yes to next. But thank you so much, Jack, for everything. I was hoping that, that Jack would continue on, on the city council, but uh, uh, it, it's sad to see him go. But again, you know, uh, Jack, I, I, I know that he's gonna continue to be 
um, an important part of the Torrance community. And so I look forward to staying in touch. Well, Jack, I'm always going to be there for you. If there's ever anything I can do, please don't ever hesitate to reach out. I know we will be friends for, for life. Uh, I've really enjoyed getting to know you better, and I'll be happy to do whatever I can to help you uh, going forward. Councilman Walser, I was the one that nominated you. I think it was a good choice. Uh, thank you for serving us. You served us well, and uh, you brought some uh, experience and great ideas to, to the dais. I really appreciate all the uh, support that I've gotten from all of my colleagues on the council and also especially the staff. I just wish the best to the new council that's coming along. I think the future is bright for Torrance. Thank you. I'm Christine Lee with Torrance City Cable.